Sha wa pa 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 pa. Oh yo, what up, you guys? Welcome back to another one of these videos. Today we're gonna talk about three ball Millsmith multiplex variations. <laughs> Now, this tutorial is more for beginners and also intermediate chocolers. If you're an advanced chocolater and you have like high skill level, you can still watch this because I'm gonna show some funky ideas that you can maybe use to other tricks, all right? Now, before I get started with this tutorial, you need to know how to juggle millsmiths, okay? And basic multiplexes like this, so you can do two from one hand, continue into juggling. That's all you need to know before this video. All right, so the first multiplex variation that we're gonna do is very, very basic. This is all it is. Okay, it's very simple, very, very basic. We're gonna start with this and go to more difficult ones. So this is what it is. It's just a multiplex and drawing that single ball and it stays in the same hand. I'm using the red ball now so you can see clearly what's going on. So this is a multiplex. The lower ball stays in the same hand and the higher ball goes across, right? And then you throw. This is the pattern, okay? So you're going to cross your arms, two balls on top, and we're going to throw and open up the arms and catch the red, red one with the other hand like that, right? What I like to do is I try to open up. So the white one goes across and the red one stays. So the lower one goes across. And how do I do that? Basically, if you just have the balls like that, you draw them, this one is lower and the red one is higher, it's gonna be automatically like that. And then you learn that you can, once you go up, you can go a little bit sideways with your hand, let go, and you can control that white. So this is what I like to do. The white goes across, the red one stays, and then I cross my hand, throw the white. Okay, multiplex, throw the white. Multiplex, throw the white. Multiplex, throw the white. Din. And what I also like to do, because that white ball from the multiplex, it doesn't stay up for long, I open up my hand, okay? So I just do that, just to show that it's empty. It's not something that you have to do, I just like to do it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, right this. So that's it. That's the very, 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 very basic. Now we can do a little bit of variation from this, this. This is not so much a millsmith anymore, but still a crossing, like arms crossing pattern. It's just a little bit different. So how you do it, you throw a normal multiplex, and then the white ball, single ball, you throw under the arm, you catch it here. You throw a multiplex, throw it under the arm. Again, it's the same pattern. Very simple. And like you see, uh, you can see that it's not like a millsmith pattern, but it's still arms crossing pattern. So that's why I added it here. There you go. Okay, so then we're gonna do this the opposite way. Now we throw the multiplex on top. Now we're gonna throw the multiplex on the bottom. So, okay, so you cross your arms, you have the two balls underneath, and it's that. And then you're gonna open up. So basically the red one goes on top, and you bring this one here. Cross your arms, throw again, and you catch the red one on top. Throw it here. So this is the pattern, okay? Throw the single, multiplex, catch the red one on top. Single, multiplex, catch the red one on top. Multi single, <laughs> it's hard to talk. This, open, cross, open, cross, open, cross open. Now here you can do a lot of cool variations. Uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of different ones. So instead of catching like that, this, I'm going to catch the bottom ball that we're going to throw from the multiplex. I'm going to catch it like this. So it's going to be catching from above, like upside down, catch like that, like a claw. <laughs> so we're going to do this. It already adds a little variation. Now here, what we can do with the other hand, when we catch it, you can actually, if you hold it like this, it creates this kind of like, uh, instead of holding it here or whatever, you put it to reach down like that, 
and it catches this nice image, right? So it's already more visual. You see, it adds so much more without doing actually other than this. So you can make this sort of like a visual cues, visual patterns. Now you can do that to extreme and instead of catching it here or like this, you can cross your arm and go under your elbow, right? So you can get your arm higher if you go like that. I like to go in more, I like to go right under my elbow and my elbow goes all the way under the arm so you can catch it like this. So, oh, sorry, Wah. again, Wah. Uh. Sha. Pa. so it's still the same trick but you added so much more to it. Now we can start playing also with the single ball. So with the single ball that we catch when we do this, instead of this one, we can do basically whatever, but here's a cool one. You do a penguin catch, okay? So then it sort of like goes catch that way, and then you throw a penguin catch. So you throw under, catch, throw a penguin catch. Now let me try it, get up to speed. Sorry, penguin, there we go, penguin. No, <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's so brain. Brain teasing for taking all this. Okay, so let's try that again. So you see, so it adds so much more to the pattern. And then instead of catching it, the penguin catch, you're gonna throw it with the penguin. So think about going your arm Turn the pole, ball down, straighten your arm, and then you turn your shoulder forward. Just lift straight up with your arm straight. I don't like to do it like this. Arm keeps straight, like that. So when you catch it here, just turn the ball down, the ball goes up, shrug your shoulder in, like that. So with that you can do Again, it's just a little bit different. And if you add this up, you can make a sequence that you do all of them different. Dum, 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 dum. And you can make a pretty cool sequence just from that alone. All right, let's go for the next one. So now we're gonna learn multiplex from this pattern. And back into the pattern. Uh, so I'm gonna keep the red ball again. It's gonna be the first ball to draw, so you Cross your arms, you throw the red ball first. So when you catch the red ball, so you do like one turn, catch it here, straight up, sorry, straight up and a multiplex. So basically you have to learn the multiplex. So the, it's like a normal throw, normal start, but you just throw both and the white ball stays in the same hand. Okay. So you go from there into multiplex, sorry, into Mills mess. And also with the left hand, you practice that. So again, it's like a normal way to start, but you just throw multiplex and it starts normally, right? And then you can do it every third. And now we're gonna just add that, sorry. So we go dun, 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 dun. every third. Boom. So we add that small throw there so there's no pause in the pattern. Because if we don't, there's going to be a pause in the pattern, you see? So it's just so good to add that single thing, single small throw, so we don't have a pause. Now we're going to add a circle to the pattern, like this kind of movement, and it's going to look like this. Alright, uh, 
uh, it's actually more simpler than it looks once you get, get it going on. So what it is, instead of starting the multiplex from here, it's actually going to be started from here. Okay, so it's the same, but you're going to start it from here. So like straight up and, sorry, straight up and then with the left hand. So if you have a right, it goes up and then the other arm goes across. So it's the same basic start that you do from here, but this is going to be straight up. Okay, so that's it. And then we're going to do it in a multiplex. And again, the same, like it's just going from here. Sorry, we're going to go straight up in the multiplex pattern. So the red ball still stays uh, in the first. Okay, straight up and a multiplex straight up. And how we do that? Uh, when we catch, like normally when we catch a multiplex, we did, uh, sorry, we did here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go straight up and move our arm under like that. So we're gonna make a circle motion with the multiplex. So when we catch it, we're gonna come here and then we're gonna throw multiplex straight up. We're gonna catch it, throw this, go under, Catch it, go under, straight up. Catch it, under, straight up. Okay, now you get it. I did wrong in the end. <laughs> All right, and one more variation. Instead of um, the red ball going like over the drone arm, you catch it over, you throw it from here, and we catch it over. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to catch it under, okay? And for this reason, I'm going to use two white balls and one red ball here. So now you can see um, So this is the variation. All right, and how do you do that? <sighs> okay, let's focus. <laughs> With all this variation, my head is going like <laughs> All right, so we go straight up, two balls, and the top one is gonna go bottom. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you like this, straight up, and then I catch it under. So I'm going up, and then I cross. Once I catch the lower, I cross, and the lower ball, gets thrown up. So that's the trick. So let me show you the red one here. So we go, uh, it's like this, one, two, okay? So one, two, no, not that, that's not a good way. So here, <laughs> multiplex, one, two, multiplex, one, two, multiplex, one, two. That's the trick. So multiplex, one, two. So we go straight up, multiplex, straight up. And we, we have arms crossed, multiplex, straight up. And it goes into this hand. And then we go cross, go straight up and uncross. Under the arm, over, okay. Damn, that's hard to explain. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it. Let me do it here. The red one is on the bottom and it ends up on the top. So all the patterns. Um, red one is now on the top. It throws like that. It should end up here on the bottom, okay? And then I put the red one on the bottom, straight up. Now it ends up here on top. And if I have the red one here, it will end up in here. Hopefully you guys can see it's how, it's, how it goes. And then we're gonna add a small throw. And this is gonna be under the arm, okay? So 
So again, all the blocks here. We're going to cross our arms under the arm. We go straight up and we do it again. Under the arm. Under the arm. So that's it. It just keeps on going. It's a very simple pattern once you get it going on, but I'm having a very hard time explaining it. <laughs> but we go multiplex and two throws. Multiplex, throw, throw. Here, under the arm. Multiplex, throw, throw. Under the arm. Multiplex, throw, throw, under the arm. Throw, throw, under the arm. Sorry, multiplex. Throw, throw, under the arm, multiplex, throw, throw, under the arm, multiplex, throw, throw, under the arm. Yeah. Once you get it going on, you just have to work on it, and this is the result. And you just keep on making the circles, try to cross your arms whenever you can, and then you can add a little bit of body movement to it, so you move your body from one side to another. There you go. <laughs> That's it. My brain is all, I mean, it's early in the morning when I'm filming this. My brain is so foggy. I got what you call a brain fart, like, uh, 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 like that. But anyways, I did it. Hope it all makes sense. A lot of cool variations and obviously you can do so much more. You can try your own and you can add again in here. When you do this, you can just do whatever kind of throw you want to do. I think that will look good under the arm with the penguin catch. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was way too early in the morning for me. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you find some new variations from this, you can try connecting these, try different variations. Uh, if you find something cool or if you never tried this before and you just found a new favorite, let me know, put it in the comments. If you guys want to learn more stuff like this and more about juggling, like everything juggling related, I do have my online juggling course chucklingmastery.com. I'll put the link below. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.